first came to Connolly in 2009 when a coworker convinced me to start an FTC program with her at the school. The best way for me to help, I felt like, was getting involved and getting a one-on-one -on -one interaction with the students. Connolly is a Title I school. Over 50% of the kids here are at risk to graduate, but you'd never know it talking to one of the FTC kids. When I first started the FTC club when I was a freshman, I got my sister to pull a couple of her friends, and I pulled a couple of my friends, making our very first team. Tony helped me realize that we weren't just building a robot, we were building a robotics program. I wanted to help that first group any way that I possibly could. During the week, they were working out of a classroom here at the school, but they didn't have access to the school on the weekends. So we'd load up my car with 200 pounds of robot equipment, drive to NI, and spend our Saturdays working out of a conference room. Over the past several years, National Instruments has been one of our largest supporters, donating countless volunteer hours, over $10,000, and matching donations. I like to say that Connolly Robotics is powered by LabVIEW. After the program got stable after its first year, I dragged in my cousin Alice to join in with me. The first year, I was just like confused, I was lost, I was like, what is this piece, what is this supposed to do? But over the years, I've learned a lot. The robots they create are definitely unique. A lot of times the artists are a mirror of their own personalities. We bleed on it quite often. You bleed on yeah, it? Yeah, Tony gets like cuts, I get cuts. Blood, sweat, and gears. Yeah. Blood. Almost there. Good. The robotics competitions are not what people think they are. It's more like a pep rally with metal. They prepare the robot, the bolts are ready to go, the motors are ready to go. It's almost like a skilled surgeon when they go in. So the first thing a robot does is pick up rings from a dispenser on the side of the field and place it on a big tic-tac-toe board on the middle of the field. All right, let's go. We got a line bonus. Let's go. Students who have access to engineers, it helps them realize at an early age what they want to do with their careers after high school. I'm going to be a computer science major at UT Austin. An electrical engineer. An electrical engineering. Mechanical engineer. Biomedical engineer. Architectural engineering. I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. After I graduate, I want to study engineering. Stop. I'm proud that National Instruments has been so supportive of these programs that make such an impact on kids' lives. Four years ago, I would have never realized that I could be the president of the largest robotics league in the Austin area.